It's Friday, dogs, and you know what that means. The weekend is near, but before the weekend can start, you're watching Hot Dog Network. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Frankfurt, and happy Friday. I'm so glad the week is almost over. For lunch today, lens one and two will have general so chicken, line three, soup and salad bar featuring potato and broccoli soup, line four, breakfast pizza and pepperoni calzone, and ham and cheese pocket. Line five will be closed. A happy birthday today goes out to Jacob Biddle, Wendy Medina Morales, and Omar Alanis. Now to weather with Mo. We're currently sitting at 35 degrees. We'll get up to 36, then drop back down to 24. Clouds will cover the skies throughout the day, and there is a slight chance of rain. Also, shout out to my fellow Diabetic Tiger Sharks. I hope you wore your red nail polish and butterfly hair clips today. Anyway, back to the namesake of the team. Thank you, Mo. Mr. Robbins, period two class report to Mr. Dudley in room 100. Bring your laptops. Seniors, if, you've, if you have ordered your cap and gown, payment is due by the end of February. Cash or money order. Deck After Dark is this Sunday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Over one half of women and men who have been physically or sexually abused or stalked by a dating partner first experience abuse between the ages of 11 through 24. Now to an interview, interview with Youth Rise. Hi, I'm Ivan Santos and this is the Hot Dog Network. So can you please uh, tell us about you and Youth Rise? Well, hello, my name is Thais. I'm president of the Youth Leadership Council, a component of Youth Rise. What the Youth Leadership Council does is it gives students a voice in matters that involve us, such as teen pregnancy, drug prevention, and teen dating violence here in Clinton County. And my name is Monica. I am with the Learning Network. I am part of one of three uh, entities, organizations here in Clinton County. And some of you have already seen me in reducing the, you're reducing the risk classroom. Great. So why is it important for us um, to be talking about teen dating violence? What teen dating abuse is, is a pattern of behaviors used to exert and to take control over a dating partner. And over half of women and men that have been physically abused or sexually abused are between the ages of 11 and 24 years of age. One in 10 high school students has been physically and purposely hurt or slapped by a girlfriend or boyfriend. And 57% of teens or young adults don't actually get help until six months or more. So what does dating violence look like? Well, your most common ones are your physical abuse, which is your physical force and hitting or kicking, along with your verbal, which is non-physical, uh, along with isolation, and your sexual abuse, which is um, non-consexual sexual activity, rape, or restriction to contraception. And is this it? No, there is actually three more. There is digital abuse, which is using technologies and or social media to harass a dating partner. Financial abuse, which is taking control over a partner's finances. And stalking, which is being repeatedly followed, monitored by a dating partner. How can someone know if they're in a healthy relationship? Well, on February 20th, we will be releasing a healthy relationship quiz. It's 26 questions, and you can download it on your phone, so look forward to that. Okay, so how can a student help a friend who's going through teen dating violence? We actually have a couple resources. Students can text Love Is to 22522. They can call 866-331-9474, and they could visit the website down below. Oh. So what can our fund for high school students help awareness around the issue of teen dating violence? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, students can wear orange on February 20th in order to raise awareness against teen dating violence. Great. So um, this is the Hot Dog Network, and don't forget to wear orange. Thank you, Ivan and Youth Rise. Ninth grade students will meet with Herf Jones during community on February 27th regarding class rings. Students can begin ordering class rings during lunch on March 7th. Parents can order class rings at FHS on March 7th from 2.45 to 6 p.m. 
enter to the main office. Congratulations to Nina Harshman on representing Clinton County in this year's Distinguished Young Women program. She is participating with 22 other young women this week. This program takes place in all 50 states and D.C. They have the opportunity to earn scholarships and learn new skills through many life skills workshops. Reminder about Frankfurt Best Buddies t-shirt fundraiser. Best Buddies has found a wonderful shirt for Disability Awareness Month and Autism Awareness Month. If you would like to purchase a shirt, please order one for Ms. Jamison in the bookstore or see Mrs. Jagger. Orders and money are due by next Wednesday. Now to Sports with Maddie. Here are the boys swimmers moving on from sectional prelims. In the 200 medley relay, Joel Sanchez, Preston Hillman, Arthur Jolly, and Evan Jordan. In the 50 freestyle, Evan Jordan. 100 freestyle, Evan Jordan. 500 freestyle, Tyler Harness. 200 freestyle relay, Preston Hillman, Arthur Jolly, Joel Sanchez, and Evan Jordan. In the 100 brush job, Preston Hillman. 400 freestyle relay, Adam Haynes, Terry Fry, Isaac Nickham, and Tyler Harness. Good luck this Saturday, boys. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Maddie. A reminder that school will be in session on Monday. Please do not flood the school with tears. Now here is a video from Haley Wills. Haley Wills, and I'll be singing The Only Exception by Paramore. <laughs> 